Hello, this is War Weasel. Uh, I've made some more progress and I wanted to show it off. Um, but first, I kind of wanted to talk about what I've been doing. Uh, I've been trying to get... Yeah, I've been trying to get uh, melee working. Which, you know, I've had this working. I've been punching and kicking and such. But there's a slight problem. Trying to actually hit the guy is really hard. Because I don't have a lock-on system. And I didn't even think about adding a lock-on system for it. Until I started playing around and saying, Oh, well, this is just kind of terrible. But so, what I did is I added a system that when I get within range, let me pop out here, this big circle, this big sphere, its only job is to tell me if there's someone within my target range for melee. When they are, the closest one becomes my target. Now, I can set the target, I can do more complex things. This is just something I implemented in a day in order to see how it feels. And uh, so far, it's been feeling really, really good. Here, let me pull that down. So, let me pull this up. And when I get in close, you know, he's a lot easier to hit. But if I need to run away, I pop out of that mode. When I get close, here I am. Yeah, got to get close, got to get the bam, bam. All because it was just really hard to actually hit the target. I'd have to focus and I'd have to almost come from him directly like this and attack, which really just isn't a lot of fun. I want to be able to dodge, I want to be able to block. So I'm going to need to be able to lock onto a guy and uh, just, you know, continue forward. Now, how am I going to handle locking onto other characters? I just think I'm going to go with a mixture of who's closest and who's uh, closest to the center of my camera. So if I'm looking over here at another guy and he's in group, he should probably switch. But uh, all in all, not bad for a, a quick day's, well, afternoon's work. Here, let me uh, pop this in. And it even allows me, I can even shoot him. That's still not working right, but. And then I can, you know, hey, you suck. Yeah, you know. I need to work on that, but still. So, hey, you, pick up that can. So, yeah, and that's what I'm doing. You know, and hopefully I'll be adding some uh, new animations to the system. I just got the, uh, uh, what is it, the close com close quarters or close combat system. And so I pulled out the animations and the uh, that's all I need right now. And I can do some interesting things. You know, there's the fatalities, which I will be adding soon. You know, each fatality also has a victim. Hit. It's interpretive dance. And on top of that, I also have, let's see, my, let's see if I can find it, uh, damage. Here it is, my damage uh, blend space, which I think will be kind of nice. So this is him taking damage from the front, from behind. That's from behind, this is from the front, this is from the side, and this just lets me, no matter where I hit him, you should be able to uh, kind of react to that.
Now, from behind doesn't look very good because, frankly, if you're from behind, you're probably going to kill the guy. Uh, or, you know, vampireize him. Suck his blood, which is kind of the point of the game. But I'm having a lot of fun with this, so... Yeah, hopefully I'll have this worked in uh, next next update. But, uh, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it feels really nice. It's starting to, uh, to actually feel like an action game. And I'm running into issues that I know other developers have run into. So, you know, I must be on the right track. Yeah. Have a good night, and, uh, well... I hope to have a, a new update soon.